Welcome back to Age Group Stories. I'm Dave Erickson here at the 2013 Subaru Ironman Canada, and I have one of the athletes racing this weekend. What is your name and where are you from? Mary Peebles, Broomfield, Colorado. Uh, so, Mary, what brought you into the sport of triathlon? Um, I never really planned it. I had a coach and I wanted to learn to ride a bike up a hill. And then I decided I was kind of sick of biking, so I learned to swim. And then my mom had Alzheimer's and we had to do a run. And I thought, well, I should learn how to run. <laughs> and then I put them together because a friend had breast cancer and did try for the cure. So that kind of got me into triathlon. Did you grow up with any specific uh, athletic background or endurance sports? Uh, no. no, I didn't do anything <laughs> ever. So you're a late bloomer is what you are. That's right. All right. That's right. Absolutely. No, I didn't do anything. Yeah, they didn't have girls sports in high school and stuff like that when I was growing up. No. So when was your first uh, triathlon? Um, 2009 okay. and that. So I did try for the cure then and that was fun, so I tried one the next year and moved up a level. Then I hurt my leg, so I couldn't do a half, and last year I decided to do my first full. You did? Where was your first full? Uh, Madison, Wisconsin. Oh, congratulations. Go Moo. Isn't that uh, Iron Man Moo or Iron Moo? Yes, and they, <laughs> they, they put on a wonderful, wonderful event. So it was great fun, so I decided to do it again. And Canada came on the list, and we decided to go to Canada. Well, it's not just that easy. You just do an Ironman. What, what was that road leading up to Ironman Wisconsin? Um, it was an incredible journey. I learned a lot about myself, about my endurance, what I could do, things I never, ever thought I could do, I did. You know, so that was my first marathon. That was my first, you know, swim. I, you know, so it was awesome. What, were the, what kind of memories stand out to you from that day? Uh, the number of people cheering on the sidelines and telling you to go, the frat boys dancing on there. <laughs> yeah, have you seen them? Okay. They were very entertaining on the run. The entire community came out and just cheered you on. It was just an incredible day. You know, it was great fun. How about coming down that finishing shoot? Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Yeah. Tom Riley gave me, you know, high five. I was thrilled. Wow. You know, I, I had completed a goal that I'd worked really hard to get, and that was incredible. It was just, you know, incredible. A lot of people put the Ironman on their bucket list. You did it last year, but you're back. Why come back? Um, because I had such, it was such an incredible experience that I decided to come back and to do it again. Um, it was fun. I enjoy the people I'm training with. I have an awesome coach. You know, he has got me places I never, ever thought I'd go. So, you know, that's incredible to me. There's got to be some camaraderie because you're also here with some friends from your area doing the race as well. That's right. That's right. And they were to do it last year and um, got injured, so some of them couldn't do it and that. So, you know, you have to arrive healthy. You have to, you know, even after all that training, you still have to show up here healthy and, and able to, to do it. So that, and at my age, that's, that can happen. You can get injured. From a late bloomer, what would you tell someone out there who maybe doesn't have an athletic background, who maybe thinks, I need a new challenge or I need something to do, how about this sport? You know, it's an incredible challenge to do and I've said it to people and they look at me and they, they come up with, I can't swim, I can't do this. Well, you can try. And you know, the one thing with Ironman is they always say anything's possible. And if someone at 59 years old can do their first Ironman, you can too. I mean, it's not like I knew how to run, it's not like I knew how to, to do any of that. It was just stuff I needed to learn and, and I did. You know, it's a huge challenge in life. Well, congratulations and good luck this Sunday. Thank you so much. I take it.